So I'm back in Mesa's Bay, finishing up this job. And it's interesting when you walk down this road, what you find, I found a little bit of a fixer upper. I think that maybe this could be my cabin. I think this is beyond repair. You know, there was a time somebody actually came down here, looked out on the water, said, wow, that's an awesome view. I'm gonna build a cabin. And they did. They built this little thing and they spent many, Many hours putting in the windows, making it square, putting up shingles, putting on a roof. You'd never know it now. It's just all falling apart. At some point, they were really excited about the potential and the possibility, and then they walked away from it. And it died. There's nothing left of this building. It's got to be torn down. You know, when you don't look after something, buildings are a funny thing. In order for them to be maintained, they actually live longer if somebody's living in it. If as soon as you walk away and close up the windows and turn off the heat, the elements start to take their toll and they destroy the house. And a lot of people these days are walking away from their faith. And you know... It's sad and it really bothers me because when they came and they looked and they said, this is what I want, that never changed. What people desire out of life, it is what they desire from God doesn't necessarily change, but it's not always accurate. A lot of people desire things from God that God isn't offering. And we've talked a little bit about that. But then they walk away from their faith. And that thing that was once a thing of beauty, thing that had purpose, thing that had reason, thing something that people were inviting others to now became something that was derelict and destroyed and it's almost an embarrassment when you look at it and you think this could have been something if they had maintained it but they didn't it's like you're not mowing a lawn it's like you're not keeping the shingles on your house it's like you're not looking after it and people after a while they just walk away and then what use is it See, one of the reasons that people walk away from something is because they're not using it. If you're using something consistently, you keep it and you look after it. But if you're not using it, it's of no value. And if you do not use your faith, it becomes of no value. And that's what I think a lot of people are doing right now. They're looking at, they're looking at their faith, something they've never used, and think, oh, there's nothing, it's no good. It doesn't work. It's like, well, of course it works, but you're not using it. The Bible says, faith without works is dead. It doesn't always show up immediately because sometimes you still have that energy and you have that enthusiasm. You go to a worship service and you get all that excitement, but at the end of the day, your faith isn't working. Like that building's not working. You want your faith to work? You got to work your faith. You got to step out and say, okay, God, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to live? What is it that you want to show me today? Because if you don't do that after a while, it has no value. So I hope that's an encouragement to you today. It's a reminder to me, I don't want my life to look like that house. I don't want to have a faith that is unusable and useless. I want to have a faith that I use. Hope that's an encouragement. Enjoy your day. I got to go finish building a deck. God bless you.